What's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to check your coolant temperature on your R56 Mini Cooper by accessing your hidden menu. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and stick around. You're going to want to watch this whole video. If you work on your own Mini Cooper and you got questions or you just have a lot of answers for people, check out my Facebook group. It's called Mini Cooper DIY. I'll leave a link to that in the description below or you can just go on Facebook and type in Mini Cooper DIY. Let's get to the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put your key in the, in the ignition and start your car. Now you're going to go over to where your tack is and you're going to press this button right here and hold it until the screen, until the screen changes. Keep holding it past this screen. get to right here it's going to tell you your last five digits of your, of your VIN number you're going to add those together in right now mine are, mine's 23 okay and once you get here you hold the button down again until it changes and then start immediately start scrolling through here until you get to till this will say 19 watch go all the way to 19 Now it says it's locked on and see these two zeros right here you want to scroll through remember I added those five digits together and I came up with 23 so I got to get it to 23 and then hold it can you you hold the button until the screen changes back to this and then hold the button again to get back into the menu And this time, you should be able to, oops, I held it too long. You should be able to scroll to number seven. And now it's telling you the temperature of your engine. Before you had your, uh, your computer was locked, so it wouldn't tell you. That's why you had to enter in that code. And right now it's at, you know, 60 degrees Celsius. It'll tell you in Celsius, so you want to get your engine up to about 105 and your fans should kick on at about 108 Celsius. So once you, you know, once you get your engine up to that operating temperature, then just do the math on, you know, just type into Google and convert to Fahrenheit if you're wanting to know what Fahrenheit is. Then to get out of the menu, just hold the button down again and just keep holding it. Until it goes back to your regular menu. Anytime you've checked, you've changed your thermostat or, or anything like that, and you want to just check and see how your car is running temperature-wise, that's how you check it. Um, the thing is, is every single you can't just put. You could leave it like that, and you could drive around and let your car, you know, get up to temperature that way. But every single time you turn your car off and turn it back in, you have to go through all those, or turn it back on, you have to go through all those steps again in order to get to that that temperature setting. So it's not practical to use that as a temperature gauge. Better just to you know buy a scan gauge or an ultra gauge or something or an actual temperature gauge. But other than that, uh, it's not really that difficult. Uh, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna start doing uh, all the stuff in the hidden menu and, and how to use it. So uh, watch for that playlist. I'm, I'm going to be adding that onto my channel. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, please give it a thumbs down. And uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video.